Dan from Eagle here. Welcome back to our video series with tips and tricks for contractors and updating the resume using Microsoft Word. Today I'm going to talk about breaks. Not necessarily coffee breaks, but page breaks, section breaks, line breaks, par paragraph breaks, all within Microsoft Word. So to make it a bit easier, I've hit the pill crow key right here, also known as the paragraph mark, which shows all of our formatting. Here I've got the standard resume we've already be, been using for other examples throughout this video series. These first two paragraphs, uh, as you can see, each end of the paragraph, and we know that because they're identified by a paragraph mark or a paragraph break, we could say. Because there's a paragraph break, there's space between each paragraph. And that's because, if we go to the page layout, we've set the space to be six points before and after each paragraph. Now, as you all know, if I want to end a paragraph, all I need to do is hit the Enter key. That adds a paragraph mark, which means there's been a paragraph break, and that creates the six, the six points before and after that next line. This Enter key can also be known as a hard return. The other option I can do is a soft return, which is similar, but instead of ending the paragraph and starting a new one, we're only starting a new line or adding a line break. I do this by hitting Shift and Enter. Although it's starting a new line, it's still the same paragraph. So, if I actually bring these lines together, I can hit Shift Enter, and you'll see the space hasn't been added between the paragraphs because only the line is being broken. Another more common application is down here if we go to bullets. If I hit Enter and do a hard return, it starts a whole other bullet. But, if I hit Shift and Enter for a soft return or a line break, it lets me continue typing in that same bullet. The other kind of breaks I'm going to discuss are page and section breaks. You could consider these similar to line and paragraph breaks, but on a larger scale. In the same way that a line break continues in the same paragraph, a page break continues in the same section. So why would I want to se separate sections as opposed to just only using page breaks, which is definitely more common? When I go to this page layout tab right here, in this section of page setup, see there's a whole bunch of options. Now these can only be applied to sections as opposed to individual pages. So, if I add a page break, again, between summary and the skills, just by going to insert, page break, definitely as I want, I've got everything on two separate pages. But then if I decide to go to the page layout section to make a change, for example, the orientation and change it to landscape, you'll see it happens to all my pages. And that's because they're in the same section. So if we do the opposite now, I'm just going to go and undo that to make that a bit easier. If instead of a page break, I go to, again, my page layout section, pa breaks, paragraph breaks, or section breaks, sorry, next page. Now when I go down here, if I'm clicked in my second section, if I go to page layout and change the orientation, it only changes the one, and that's because I'm in a different section, which is marked here by section break. I can even go even further by going to that page setup menu. And there's a few things. I can change margins and make a few other changes to just the section. Or I can do, decide to do it to the entire document or from this point forward. And that's the high level view of breaks in Word. At first it may seem useless knowledge, but once you start working with them, they're a lot more easier to organize your resume even better. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave any comments below. Until then, have a great day and keep resuming.